Hi, my name is Trapper Markels, and I'm here today to talk to you about Beamable, the development platform for online games. If you think about what Beamable can accomplish for your company, uh, we provide everything that exists under the game engine. So if you're developing in Unity or Unreal and you're building a live game, uh, you're going to need a series of tools, technologies, and managed infrastructure to be able to rapidly implement features for your title. This could include data services features like player state, world state, inventory systems, metagame systems. Um, but then you have all of the DevOps needs of how do you author content in lower environments, author code, test, promote that up through higher environments. And then once your game is live, how do you implement customer updates and customer service tasks and tooling? How do you update your game on the fly? How do you message your players, A-B test, segment them, provide limited time offers and limited time events? So this is the universe of technology that Beamable helps uh, you implement for your game. We do that with three pieces of our product. First is a live ops portal. That's where you set up your game, set up your game environments, promote your code, implement your content, manage your player CRM. Uh, and then you have the SDKs that live inside Unity and Unreal. These SDKs are highly tooled and idiomatic to sort of the nature of game development inside of those IDEs. So for Unity, that's a C-sharp SDK that's aware of scriptable objects and addressables and prefabs. And if it's an Unreal SDK, it's C++, Blueprint support. It's going to feel very native for the game developer working inside of that environment. And then finally, there's our serverless game backend or our cloud code solution. This allows you to build C-sharp microservices, both integrated into the IDE or standalone to implement a wide variety of game server authoritative features that you would want to build for your game, as well as conduct server to server integrations and communications with a wide variety of different products and services. Uh, and so this allows you to implement the features that you would expect for any kind of live game product, uh, commerce systems, payments, offers, analytics, integrations, player identity, messaging, competitive systems, leaderboards, tournaments, groups, guilds, chat, right? Everything that's needed to both engage uh, and enhance the player experience and provide live game functionality. Because of these C-sharp microservices and because of the ability to communicate server to server, uh, you can then extend Beamable's integration across a growing number of live service marketplace partners. You can do Gen AI integrations, easy web three integrations, analytics, multiplayer matchmaking, a whole host of, of services that you can rapidly integrate into your game because these services are pre-integrated with player ID, pre-integrated with uh, the item system, content systems, analytic systems. So it really makes it easy to get up and running across a wide variety of different game server needs. Now, the great thing about Beamable is it's free to try. You can go to beamable.com, you can sign up, you can download the SDK, it's free to 100,000 API calls. Uh, so you can really take Beamable through its paces. When you sign up, you'll also get access to our live ops portal. In there will be a demo project that's fully filled out with all of the different kinds of read-only data that you might see for a fully fleshed out game project. And this allows you to really get a sense of what these features look like when they're implemented into your game project. So sign up at beamable.com, download the SDK. You'll be able to set up multiple game environments, sort of see what it's like to promote code and content up through environments, diff it, roll it back. You'll also be able to check out the full suite of analytics that Beamable provides out of the box. Because Beamable is the game server, we can instrument a wide variety of statistics around player installs, purchases, DAOs, MAOs, calculate cohort retention, D1, D7, D30, as well as sort of all the ARP DAO, ARP MAO needs that you'll have for your game product. Furthermore, these analytics can also be forwarded to an analytics vendor of your choice, like a mix panel or an amplitude. You can attach directly to the database, query it directly, create your own visualization. So a lot of flexibility around analytics as well. And finally, in the free product, you'll be able to author microservices. You author those locally. They run in a Docker container. You lift that Docker container up, run it in our cloud. It gets auto scaling rules attached. A lot of really interesting workflow that you can explore inside of the free product related to C Sharp microservices. I also want to show you really briefly kind of what Beamable looks like out of the box when you get started. So if you have Unity installed and you pull down the Beamable project and install the Beamable package into your Unity project, uh, you'll see something like this. This is a blank project. It's a blank install of Beamable. 
Uh, and you can see that over here, I've added two prefabs from the toolbox. Uh, these prefabs are admin flow and currency hub. So currency hub is just giving us this quick little inventory connection uh, and admin flow gives me some, some admin tools. So if I play this scene, right, what's going to happen is the Beamable package is going to connect up to the Beamable backend uh, to the uh, existing account that you create when you sign up at Beamable.com. And if there's no player ID, it's going to frictionlessly provision a player ID and attach that player ID to the player state. And it's going to start immediately calculating statistics. It's going to immediately start interacting with inventory. So in this case, you can see that this was an existing player because I've run this project before. Uh, and they have some inventory. They have 215 gems in their inventory. So if I hit the tilde key, that's going to launch the, the admin tooling. And if I type dbid, it's going to give me the player ID that was assigned to that player through the frictionless ID system. Now, if you want, you can attach email credentials to this, third-party credentials, social logins, Web3 wallets, really anything. Uh, and then that will extend this player ID to be portable across device using those third-party credentials. But right now, it's just a frictionless ID that was assigned by Beamable. Furthermore, if I type portal, it's going to bounce me out to the web portal. And it's going to show me uh, the, invent the, the player state for that test player. So you can see for my demo player, I have a full player profile here. It has information about my login, right? I have a full set of player statistics that start to get automatically calculated around me. So things like spend, things like location, days since install. So there's about two dozen different statistics that we start auto calculating on the players. If I click down into inventory, you can see that inventory is holding those 215 gems that I have back over here on this project, right? These 215 gems. So if I bounce over to the player, I can easily edit this player state using the uh, the portal system. And I can say, oh, actually, I wanted to award this player, you know, another 10 gems. So they have 225. And the moment I click save, I bounce back over here, you can see that the game is automatically updated. So the Beamable SDK integration is fully reactive. It's watching the player state. If it receives an update of any player state, it will immediately pull that player state up and render it in the game. Uh, the same thing happens with content. If you make any game content changes, that's going to change the content manifest, and that's going to signify to the game clients that they need to pull the new content down. Uh, they'll pull those new game features, new content, new offers, everything down, and present those in real time to the player. So Beamable is much more than just an API through this SDK. The SDK pre-integrates you with all of this reactive infrastructure so that you can rapidly build features, you can edit new content in your game, and those features and content can be deployed to your game in real time. So I highly suggest you head over to the, the Beamable website. You, when you sign up for Beamable.com, you're going to get access to a portal. It's going to have this demo project in it. If you open up that demo project, you can kind of see how the game environment tree works. You can open up that project. You can get a sense of the analytics that Beamable collects, and you can click through all of the features that Beamable will have to offer and really get a sense of what they look like and how they might be used inside of your project. So I hope this was a helpful quick demo of what Beamable is, uh, how it works. And if you're interested in more, uh, so head over to Beamable.com, click the Contact Us button, drop us a note, and we're happy to set up a demo and answer any of your questions. Thanks.